So alright, we're doing this. It's the next day and we're gonna be choosing who which of our three friends to do some exploration with. Uh Hopefully everyone is all settled. Got their nice hot cup of coffee. Apple apple. Okay. making sure that Samara is doing her best impression of May on the screen right now, and she is. So let's begin. Any new songs other than this seems new. Well, I'm going to give it a few seconds for people to decide if this is new or not, and oh, it is definitely new then. Ah yes, TikTok, that terrible charity parody song about telling time. Punched up the lyrics a bit with Greg back in high school. Let's see if I can remember all the words. Oh boy. Uh, uh, stop it! Uh, stop it! No! <laughs> I think I pressed the button! Uh. 
I literally do not know this song. <laughs> Rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. Last night inspired me. For longest night I'm getting you a library cup. You're welcome. Having fun isn't hard. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. A white message. Planets are to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Alright. I guess B will be last. B will be last. There's gonna be nothing new in the crawl space, so I'm not even gonna bother. Hey, bird. Sorry, I'm always rude to you. Alright, Ma, let's see how you're doing today, Ma. Are we making up, Ma? Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams, and I f fucked up a song majorly. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? It might be a tumor. They're in the bathroom cabinet. I kind of work and kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was... Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Nice and sunny today. Hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love it. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Needs some cloudies. Gloomy little eel you are. Eels, mom. Eels, honey. Alright, I'm out. Bye bye, sweetie. I better get some sort of explanation about her fascination with eels, and my subsequent fascination with them. Oh. Oh. Where? Where did they go? Where did they go? Is... Is going this way progress? I want to check in with all my guys first. I mean, the road was fixed. I guess the sidewalk wasn't. But... Dare I go over here? Okay. It's safe. Isn't this where we shot that... FG with Greg. Oh, wrong button. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. And even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shoveled all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. Not gonna make the joke. Not gonna make the joke. Comments made. No, just sit. Bridge freezes before road. Yeah. 
Welcome to Historic Possum Springs, original county seat of Deep Hall County. You're not lost, you're here! Nice, nice, nice anecdote. I don't remember being near farms as I was a child. I do remember on like the bus ride back home or to school or something, I did see like a building on fire. That was pretty neat. After this few miles and you go under the highway and it's just rolling fields and farms. I missed the corn mazes this fall and the haunted barn and griddle. Always next year. Campfires and hot dogs. Read the town ends like, bam, right here. There's like a line somewhere that no one can see, but you can put it on a map. fixed and that was definitely worth it. Selmers, holy shit, you're an amazing poet. Hey Selmers, you were great last night. Oh thanks, having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Wanna hear a new poem? Obviously. This is a short one, because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What are you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Uh, what, what's that supposed to mean, Selmers? play a mean banjo. Claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Vale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. No cha- it's not a Chaskov day. It's a what the hell is who is this man? I wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. That's a very good insightful commentary there, mate. I I'm not harassing him. I'm being neighborly. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you, Liz? I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice, Boss of Springs is nice too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. When I was a girl about your... I'm 20. Hi. <laughs> I used to lay awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh jeez, that's spooky. Never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one could get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. That was worth. That that was a that was a much good conversation. Any news? New. Nope. Alright, let's 
church time. Let's see if we can find Pastor K, or at least Muriel Pastor of Vows. Hey, Bruce. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too, real pretty out as well. Used to cry fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. No, that's not Greg. That's a different guy. Hey, Jen! Hey, May Borowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. Calling back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg still does. Kinda. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there, then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it, so I stopped. Oh yeah, it's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come and see me out in Bright Harbor. Oh, uh, yeah, will do. He's not leaving here. Oh, I don't know. I think he should. Guy's gonna spread his wings. Maybe his wings are just fine here. Nah, Greg's too much for this town. Haha, <laughs> no argument there. See ya. Take it easy. Well, I mean, looks like Jen's gonna get, I guess, more regular contact with... Yes. check in this area, see if I unlock things yet. No, I have not. Okay. Greetings, mother. Hey, you free? Maybe. Wanna go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Pastor's gone, I'm going to skip out. Is this progress? Okay, let's skip work. I'm only s only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh, hush, I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Okay, I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh. Okay. What's what's the bit here? Oh, this is nice. Used to be a lot more trees up around here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes.
So what is this place? Jenny's Field, ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there's this woman and her daughter walking here, and the woman's daughter's in front of her. <laughs> oh no, oh no! And she's just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... It's gone. So wait, why are we here? What, you not up for a little risk-taking? <laughs> yeah, maybe we can just reverse the roles here a little bit, ma. Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm, how about that? Okay, what is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows, Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny, but slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? Ha ha ha. Oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. Not much climbing. I'm doing it anyway. Fuck you, Mom. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. Ha ha ha, yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh... Possum Springs boasts of the valley. What does it look like? Like someone dumped out some blocks. Ha uh ha, -huh, sounds about right. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age, where I was at the big parking lot out by the tracks, and I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. Sounds like that thingy from the hypnagogic archives. What do you think it meant? I don't know, feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Also, watch out for the hat man. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. Couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey! <laughs> Oh boy, yep. There's Jenny. That was... Yeah, I... I what, what the fuck was that all about, ma? I know Pastor K's not here, but there might be a someone else here. There isn't. All right, let's see what's else on the docket. Your sleepy baby, fat pocket pond, Coffee, cigarette, coffee, cigarette. The old pickaxe. Can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case.
so if I, alright, this video outpost too is where I go if I want to do the Angus stuff. What, okay, why am I able to enter this part, a part void? Yeah, we'll speak to Smelter's men later. Yeah, oh, hello. Do I know you? No. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin, not his cool cousin Jen, like the other cousin? No. Who are you then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. Town council. We're a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? I'm supposed to be demoing an infrastructure and municipal service management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. Yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know, lots of places are just scared of new things. They just want to keep things like they are forever, falling apart. It's frustrating. You're really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's gonna... It's all gonna be robots anyway, so... Jeez, yeah, huh? I got... It. You're Donna's cousin. Yeah, she used to babysit me. Oh wow, are you the kill of a kid a bird with her maze? <laughs> it was an accident, and I was like nine. <laughs> I thought it was perfume or something. Thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died like instantly, just... Ack. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm gonna go, good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. <laughs> Yep. Okay. More robots than cashiers? Nice. Fuck dealing with other people. Holy shit. Automation cannot come soon enough. Hey, Germ. Hey. What? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. I'm also assuming this is not progress, so if I just go, yeah, sure, it's gonna be fine, right? Hop on my bike! Really, where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could, like, run behind. Okay, fine. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool. I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. Skid my elbow. I can, like, ride you to the hospital for this serious wound. Put the siren on. So what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Alright, well that's one perspective of looking at dealing with cashiers. Never thought about it before, if I trust you. Okay, bye. Oh my god, germ! Oh jeez, dude. Hey, what the hell, man? Jump, it's fine. Oh, for real? Dude, you scared me to death. Why, you jump off big stuff all the time. Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. Not like I can just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing here? I come here a lot. Wanted to show you something. Are you showing me the sewer? I thought you'd be interested. I saw like ten rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're here to see a friend? Let's see the friend. Okay, so... I started coming down here a few months ago to, like, just hang. Okay. And I noticed... Oh, hey, Rabies! Ah! Rabies is my sewer friend. Its name is Rabies? His name is Rabies. His name is Rabies? I found him when they pulled that body out of here. After that big flood a few months ago. You know, 
the station square flood. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I brought him chips and ice cream. Sounds right. I wanted the other possums to not pick on him, so I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, Ravies, speak. Oh my god. He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to me, okay, Ravies? I love him. You got any pets? Got some rats downtown. Sweet. I also have a bird. So there's like weird stuff on the walls in here. Ancient cave paintings. Not new, at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here, you might drown. True, true. That's sad. Yeah, but it's enough... It's sad enough that, like, it gets too weird to be sad. I guess. Just, like, sucks people are sleeping in here. Not like we don't got vacant buildings. It's dumb. There's, like, all kinds of secret places like this around town. I'm, like, the only person to really map the... Hey, Rabies, what you got there? Oh my god, is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Holy effing crap! He is the best. So... There, there's... I, I remember seeing a thing about how... I think it's called Iterative Evolution. Where something can evolve into the same thing different times. Completely unrelated to each other. It's similar to Karkinization, but, uh... Instead of this possum turning into crab, this possum is turning into people possum. You should take him home. No way, he'd pee all over everything and dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh yeah. Rabus is wild. Let him be wild. Ah, look, he's eating it! Yeah, it was about that bird. The bird that it went extinct and then re-evolved into existence. See ya. No, nothing in there about about rabies. Okay. How did he get over this thing? I can't jump that. No way he could have. There's no hole. How did he do it? I mean, I guess he could really be a ghost. I think he's a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? I mean, we're overlooking a, a possible explanation, which is that you could climb over it, but that would be pretty hard to do with a body, but not impossible. Another alternative is that there's an accomplice. Mr. Salvi, what are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. What are you doing home from school? I guess I kind of dropped out. Oh dear, mate. Yeah, uh, sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? I don't know, so what are you even doing down here? It's my side hustle. Salvi Salvage. Here at... Possum Springs County Lake Dredge Appraisal. What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning 
antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle, yeah. You wanna come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today, but might be fun? Yes. It's probably is a smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually take one of the kids over there. Hey, teens. Going on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask. Gone with this boat, Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. What was... Okay, let's go. Lots of folks from somewhere else drive past between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove, and they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something, and that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage! Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now, you'll see. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique, once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. Haha, <laughs> you called it junk too. Find anything good? Ah. Okay. I have two options here. One of these, I mean, these are both obvious what they are. Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Eh, I will consider. Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled? Really bad boat? Maybe you like sleep in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? That's not a garbage bed, May. That's a tennis racket. I think this axe probably has more use. So big an axe -y. Should I take this garbage bed instead of the garbage axe? Oh, a snowshoe. Same difference, honestly. The axe is, I think, going to be more useful. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer, garbage axe. Yes, you could convince, conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? Keep my options open. Oh dear. And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez, gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... wait, fine. We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs, and bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them to get them to scatter. You're looking for bugs, they mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready, we're coming up on a place they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Here we go, up above me. Wow! Like, I may got concerned about potentially being with a weird stranger, she's the one who's getting a lax for her. Yeah? Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, no bats. No bats. Now we're coming up on another island. Garbage hole! Speed. 
You gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stut Studer's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gress got a six-point buck. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. How many times am I going to play this goddamn game? Holy shit. Dracula teeth! These are so rad I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. You can get new ones for like a buck over at the Ham Panther. I don't know if vintage Dracula teeth are that much of a find. Versus... Oh my god! It's a coconut monkey like the one Granddad brought back from Hawaii. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much, and we've just met. Alright. Find anything good? Coconut Monkey! Oh, wow. Is it still good? He's a little soft, and he smells like trash water, but when he's all dried out, he's gonna be a regular member of the family. Huh. Alright. You're not gonna steal him for your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted. I think I can let this one go, May. And that's how I saved Longest Night. Haha, <laughs> wow. Do you ever tell your kids? What? No, it spoiled the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready, shine it up there, and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Got them good. Phew. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. Haha. <laughs> well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I encountered. Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. Pretty far back now, it's always a bit spooky. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something, it had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars, they were designed by some company overseas, big and fancy like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. Go look around? Sure. Alright. What trash garbage are we going? Oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty, though. I don't even know what- uh, it's gross and I don't care about sports anymore. Oh, nice. Football, our official religion or- Ghost Melters! You can totally wear this. It's functional. You can totally wear this in the winter in case you slip on the ice. Wear this if I was in fight. Probably stop a bullet, even. I don't know. Smells inside, though. Do I want this thing? You know, that was probably foreshadowing of some sort, but I'm gonna take the mystery thing. And then look at what it's even for. Find anything good? Check this out. Oh, wow, that's an old hockey pennant. How old? Like, really old? Uh, 1970s, 80s? Oh, that's like, medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did. I used to read it used to be out where, by where Ham Panther is now. Geez, so much stuff used to be here. Lots still here, but yeah, lots gone. Any more bands to get rid of? Nah, they haven't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here, though. On the 
Let's clear them that off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh, is that where we're going? Well, got rid of most of the backs back there, so maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? Thank I thank God I was down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough, the river just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir too, I forget. Guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. Twenty-year-old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. Alright, here we are. The big one. Wow, this looks like something I dreamed or something. It's familiar in some ways. Back then they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood? But nah, they went right along with the water, bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you gonna do? Dam up the river? Dig the whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Or alternatively, you can just go to real world Japan. That's the afterlife now, I guess. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. Are we gonna see any of the bodies? You gotta look around, have to say not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels, gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Maybe we'll find a body. Maybe we'll find the re the guy that arm was initially connected to. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe or secret. It's just junk now, and I got nothing to lock up anyways. Okay, what is this? Tuba. Wow. Wonder if it still works. We'll clean all the mud out of it first. I mean, this could be incredibly valuable. It's really pretty. Should have someone to appreciate it. Oh, that... Sure sounds familiar, this tuba. Anything good? Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe. I'm gonna clean it out. Maybe play it, or at least make it make some noise. Good plan. It's real pretty. Shame to leave it down here. We rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. Here we are. Wow. Um... So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. Wonder if in like 500 years some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna go look for a minute. Take your time. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. You're gonna get me a boat. 
go find some trash and sell to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. Good luck. All right. Well. Rose is not here. Unable to steal pretzels. Me thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Well, it's time to go look at my upwards friends. Oh, excuse me, new guy. Hello. Hey. Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Selim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside, people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No. And I'm not busking. Cool. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone, and I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? Um, lady finds a window in her wall. It wasn't there before. And it's like looking at her backyard, but it's always sunset. There's a guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Really? I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where did the idea come from? I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory. But gory isn't always scary. So I was thinking of what's scary. I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new, or maybe you just never noticed it before. And there's someone very strange very nearby, and I don't know. What? Nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya! Later! Alright, roof cat. Anything to say, roof cat? No? Okay. to inspect my rat progeny. Oh, fuck. New unlock, new unlock, new unlock. It's like just a room. One fridge, one dresser, one lamp, one bed, one window, one door. So that makes two ways out. Maybe this would be creepy if it wasn't so spooky. Whoever lives here is certainly a churchgoer. Five saints. Grandma had it set up like this last time I saw her. Icons are good for keeping the good in and the bad out. This is the super important info I retained from years of Sunday school. In the end, Grandma died while the saints watched. It was time. And they weren't saints anyway. They were pictures. Pour one out for Grandma. You could hide in here until whoever lives here gets back. Possibly give them a heart attack or get shot in the face with a gun. What am I doing in here? What am I doing with my life? I'm sitting in a stranger's closet in a nearly vacant building. I could just stay in here for just forever, be here forever. Where does this person pee? It's dark in here.
My apologies. Oh, boo. Smelters. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? No, no, just asking is all. We'll ask someone else. Damn, okay. Yeah, I'll check out the apartment. I just want to check out everything else. Like, newspaper friend. in the news. Yam shortest this Thanksgiving. Oh jeez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. It's gonna be like yam riots because not enough yams. Worse reasons. I can speak. I am a speaking person. Oh. So it's just a more convenient way to get up here. That's a lot of birds. Um, hello? Hello? I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Do I need a reason? No. Did you know? This is the only stage in town? That's not true. We just did a play at the hardware store. We used the counter as a stage. Okay, this is the only stage in town that's only a stage. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. Haha. <laughs> That, that it is. That it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. Heh. <laughs> well, small town at least. Definitely. See ya. Huh. Pentagram. You know, pentagram, that's... With, with all the potential grossed stuff, that's not worrying. <laughs> who, who, who will I hang out with tonight? Well, I think... I'm going to... Remember that really great idea for thumbnail I had?
So I said I would like take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Yeah, I guess, huh? You've been hanging out with Greg so much. It would be nice to get to, like, to know you a little bit better. I'm pretty great. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does nobody... Why does no one believe me that it was... I, I don't... May, I am seeing the game through your point of view, and I don't believe it was a ghost. Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello? And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff? Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. There's no place to escape to. This is the Ghosty Stuff Podcast. That's when the cannibalism started. Why should we a grave? I may and I saw ghosts. And this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. Where's downtown... Wait, no, May would be the Henry Zabrowski in this situation. Angus seems more like Marcus Parks. Greg would possibly be the Ben Kissel. I mean, this is May, just crazy person. Yeah, I don't, I don't pay much attention to sponsors. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Man, Casey's just the fucking eel in the room, isn't he? That we're not fucking talking about him much. Posted, do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. I'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Who bought out Casper mattresses? I hope it wasn't my pillow. Actually, that would be funny. I hope it was my pillow. Oh! Puff Puff! You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like... a lime kiln, I think? A kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You, like, do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago, so, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. 
No way. I mean, rocks don't lie. Like, right where we're standing, there were like ancient, horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Uh, durational capital management, I guess. Puff, puff. Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No problem. Huff, huff. So if this place was underwater... Why aren't there, like, ancient shark boats up here? Where'd the water go? I don't know, to the ocean, I guess. Like, the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up, or used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays, to think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. It's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool. Okay. And here we are, killing up the first flame. Puff, puff, puff. <laughs> Wheeze. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah! Sorry! Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature, rock, or whatever. Lime! Stone! I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up! The class fills up fast. I bet. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers or some of them? I know, right? Big, freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates all the way up here? I lost count. Weird, he used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, ra labor strike thing. Or it was like the Miners vs. National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the Miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh, ah. It's like a few old graveyards up here from like, colonial times. I guess there's up- there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see, nothing left to be scary. Disagree. Wait, oh, am I gonna have to pull out the skeleton music? Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up... There is, like, a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were 
all of that longest night bonfire, and we spotted the constellations together, and you told us all about them, you know, like Big Snake, the guy who beheaded that Mouse King, and uh, the Crusades. It's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations you tell me about them. Okay then. Alright, find me some constellations. Are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time, ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Hmm. This is... Click and drag to build sh Okay, so I can just make... Literally make it up as I go along. I think I know what I'm gonna do. As my first constellation. Oh, god damn it. I was hoping it would be... <laughs> it would just be the shape, and I would go, See, look, it's an Amogus, but no, it's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello, there's a statue of him outside church. Oh, he never went there. Did your family go to church? Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. <sighs> Alright, time to make more Amoguses. If I can. And I don't think I can. Wait, wait, no, come on, buddy. Alright, there's only, a, I guess, a predetermined amount of these shapes. Okay, that's a bell. And it middles this eye, and it vents. Okay, that's, uh. I know this one a little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you? Well, crap. It's high up enough, it's all. It's kinda always looking at all of us, right? God damn. Oh yeah, I know this one. It's big. It's the Big Dipper. It is not the Big Dipper. It's a cat! He's got arrows sticking out of him. He's chasing a diamond. 
I know this one, don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? No? That was like a whole bunch of stories. There's this person, Adina, and... Oh yeah, Adina and the Frozen Lake. Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. Oh yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was a little. Well then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But it was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. They're acknowledging that they are cats. It's a whale, and it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Eh, yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? They didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe, and the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, I don't believe in ghosts, or gods, or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. People have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Ah, uh, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, uh... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now, haha. <laughs> she, like, shoved me into the pantry and slammed the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus, I didn't know at all. That's awful. Lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic power so I could like signal the late neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing? Like. Being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can have some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. and My dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is, or even if he's alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Huh, <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't, like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet, and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts are God. So, like... I feel like uh, if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? And well, so, like, the constellations... I don't believe there's a whale out there. 
But I uh, believe that the stars exist, and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between the stars, like we're pattern finders. And we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. Even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like, they, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall? Wearing some kind of weird coat? Like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night. He's... not... answering... That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! Mate, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma... I got an inhaler, the good kind too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Rag. Oh. Uh. All right. I could kind of see his face shape a little bit. I think that is a goddamn eel person. You cannot convince me at this moment that it is not an eel person. I have it figured out. I got it all figured out, Luigi. Please. Please. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or, Weez, it was Weez, some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from here. Ugh. Why does nobody believe me? Hey, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghosts. Okay, fine, whatever. Is eel a more likely explanation than ghost? Sorry, Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Thought. Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Yep. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. You need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be. But that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went on an adventure today? <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should... You know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. No Garbo and Malloy? Are we done with that? Is that not happening anymore? Well, 
Well, time to check my my emales. Wait, see if I have unlocked songs. I have thankfully not. Hey V, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Okay, well, hold on, I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah, okay, whatever. Sorry for what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life. Oh yeah, he definitely has. Uh, how do you know about this? Because Angus and I have been friends ever since like 8th grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm. Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did. You guys saw weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, May, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird, but there are folks that live up there in the park, and there are hunting camps and stuff, so it was most likely the guy out hunting Buck early. Dude, I, like, felt it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. Alright, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, May, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking to my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart and have a great... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a deep face. <laughs> I thought it had a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are ramping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sleepy kibum time. Uh, oh, okay, I can't see where I am. There I am. Th I mean, there's me. I'm not me yet. I'd have to go back in time and be, be born as Kibble instead. Boy, there's a lot of flashings. Is this like some sort of war zone? Is this the part where Matt Nicholson comes out and tries to get me because he thinks I has, have his BB? Oh god, is this the eclipse? Is this where Angus sacrifices us to the god hand. The f 
fuck are you, buddy? Are you the forest god? Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. Well, good night. <laughs> so, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then, and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I seen ghosts? They're like bits of the world. I think it was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. A... A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. They are dragging in places and echoes of lives, and they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible, and I am showing you now. Oh god, it's not eel people, it's bug people! Ah, oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you, and I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago, the end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Okay. Oh, Bobby! So, uh... Oh, shit, there's all the stuff that I got. Yay! Oh, Bobby! Well, uh, that'll do it for this. Uh... I guess 
all... I've learned that all is returning to the void. Uh, and that the main villain in this game is Eel Xtef. Eel Xtef. So then we're gonna find out that uh, the guy who's been kidnapping and or murdering people is not a ghost. And actually not an eel, but a tree? A tree that is has become an eel. And the tree was full of demons, and the eel tree wants to make a rift in... He wants to summon the void for power. And then he gets sucked by the void and becomes Neo Eelk's death. I mean, this is just classic literary, literary analysis. Yeah, I, that's that's definitely what's happening in this game's story.